Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to another episode of CSGO News. Let's talk about our first story though, kind of in breaking news over the past few days. We've had some more and more evidence about a website out there which might actually be trying to use you to mine Bitcoin. Now this is actually CSGOconfigs.com. If you guys aren't aware, this story has developed immensely over the past few days and I would suggest all of you right now, CSGOconfigs.com, to no longer use that website. Although it is pretty straightforward what that website is for. It's over 11,000 publicly posted configs out there. So if you're ever looking to change your own personal CSGO config, you have a course have a long list of pro players and other players out there to choose from. It was a great website in theory, but apparently the guys over there at CSGOconfigs.com did not believe they were making enough money from the website because as of right now, there is much evidence against them allegedly saying they've actually tried to have a proxy Bitcoin miner on their main loading page. So I'll show you guys the images on screen which do actually show if you don't have the right blocker, there is a proxy Bitcoin miner on their their front page. Other evidence out there has shown the FPS increase and of course the overall increase in your computer usage just being on the website main page itself which does go ahead of course uh, and go hand in hand with there being a Bitcoin miner that of course using a lot more of your PC power on top of that though multiple people have come forward and said ever since that original post on reddit they've actually gone ahead and lowered that actual Bitcoin miner on their website as well it doesn't have as great of effect as it did before but this could be of course in, in response to the first reddit post it almost indignifies and actually certifies their guiltiness and the, the fact that they do have a Bitcoin miner on their website so of course not 100% proven as of right now, but I want to warn all of you guys for CSGOconfigs.com, I would suggest not using it in the future. So many websites out there nowadays do actually see all the people out there that use Adblock as kind of the enemy, right? If, if I'm going to blame all of you guys who use Adblock on these videos because I'm not making enough money, that's entirely selfish on my part, and I should in no way be able to actually install a Bitcoin miner to use you guys to my advantage without your knowledge. So I would never do that, and no website either should, uh, should either. So hope you guys always uh, look out for this kind of stuff and thanks to the reddit community for actually catching this do not use csgoconfigs.com and also suggestion for all of you guys who want to keep on using that website or are kind of worried about other websites doing the same thing there are many apps out there right now in the app store i think one is called script safe as well as no script look into those if you don't want to be caught off guard by these proxy bitcoin miners or any kind of miner out there that's using way too much for your pc and again thanks to the community out there for catching this ahead of time to actually warn all of you to not use csgoconfigs.com any longer but also another big news out there. We had some big news in terms of roster changes. We actually had Immortals come out and of course that whole organization going to a, a pretty um, a lowered point from what we can see about a month ago when they had a full roster. Now they have more people on their bench than on, on their starting roster which is kind of a very ironic situation for them. They've also gone ahead and fired their former coach Zach. Zach was with that Immortals roster for many, many, many months. That was his longest stint as a coach and I am very assured after the response from the community guys, I am very assured this good coach will probably find it even better better team for the future than Immortals was. Of course, Immortals right now is now down to four members as well, as they're likely to lose their top member who actually has a visa to play in America and of course all around the world. That is Horvy. He's likely to lose that player and who knows the future of Immortals. We actually had Noah Winston post a video about that. I'll play the short clip for you guys now on the future of the Immortals CSGO team because it's really up in the air right now. First, it's no secret to anyone that follows CSGO that our roster has been undergoing some difficulties over the last few months. After we removed KNG, Henny, and Lucas from the team, we've been experimenting with a few different players, trying to build a roster with the necessary skill, chemistry, dedication, and teamwork to compete on the international stage once more. And let me just fastly summarize what he said there. It takes four minutes for Noah Winston to say what I can tell you guys in about 40 seconds. This does mean for the future of Immortals roster, and I'll link the full video down below if you guys really want to watch it, the next three to four months are going to be pretty inactive from that roster as they evaluate their current talent, and if they even want to stay in CSGO in general. Now, I will say, after CLG leaving the North American scene and CSGO altogether, I think Immortals is a bit above them when it comes to, of course, bringing in funding. They did at one point have an LCS League of Legends spot. They can get a lot of investors if they really wanted to. I don't think money is going to be an issue and I do actually expect them to retain their spot in CSGO but will it be with this roster? No one really knows at this point. The main overall factor though is for the next three or four months after this next major as well is when we'll hopefully see an arise out of Immortals situation whether they're going to come to uh, but as of right now no Winston puts it perfectly. Their current roster is just too inexperienced and uh, pretty much you know too inexperienced not only in Brazil itself but also internationally to really become a top tier roster so we'll see what happens to Immortals in the future guys but as of right now I tweeted out guys Immortals is dead to me. I 
I really think that Immortals have become mortal and that roster has shut down completely. We'll see what happens to them in 2018 though. But on top of that, I do have some big important updates for all of you CSCO fans. If you guys remember the craze a long time ago with Mo TV and Dazed and Hiko especially posting a bunch of YouTube videos about Counter-Strike Classic Offensive on the comeback, I do have some updates for my friends over there, the moderators and the creators of that mod sometime soon. If you guys also remember many months ago, it was actually greenlit on Steam, which means eventually when they actually upload the final mod, you can actually download it directly from Steam so it's 100% safe and valid and it's going to be great to see uh, when it actually comes to. So some updates for all of you from the mods and my friends over there. It does seem that pro progress has been a bit delayed, but it's guaranteed sometime in 2018 the Counter-Strike Classic Offensive official mod will make its way to Steam. But I give you guys some screenshots on screen as well to kind of build up the hype and actually just to let you all know, they're very hyped about this, but they're trying to keep it on the down low, the progression wise, because when they come out, it wants to be, they want to be out of nowhere. They want to be mid 2018 or sometime 2018 out of nowhere where there's no operation going on and people can freak out at it again. I know when I started playing it, I really just felt a throwback that I never really felt before because I originally never played that, that original Counter-Strike Classic. So on top of that though, I do want to say very, very briefly, I respect these guys more than you guys will ever understand. This is a 10-man team working on this mod by themselves. They all have full-time jobs and in their free time, they work on this mod of Counter-Strike Classic Offensive and they are being paid absolutely nothing for it. So they don't want to be ridiculed. They don't want to actually set a goal and the main reason they're not taking money is because they don't want to be accused of making anything imperfect. They don't want to you know, have any false timelines out there. They are taking no income and they don't plan on making money off this, maybe even ever, and they're still putting time and effort into CSCO. So please stay hyped, guys. And when this does come out, I'll be giving it free promotion all day long. So Counter-Strike Classic Offensive is still expected for some time 2018. Just cross your fingers. And I also briefly wanted to announce we have the Cyber Power PC series right now. It's the winner series. We actually went on last night. And for all of you ex-CLG fans, like I talked about earlier, CLG, of course, leaving CSGO altogether. They, those remaining players actually are still playing together and they changed their name to Unemployed for Christmas, an absolutely funny name. They still have the Cyber Power PC tournament this weekend and they actually placed second there to Cloud9. I also wanted to bring up though, no real big surprise as CLG was probably your number five North American team, but they did actually manage to beat Team GX, that's AZK, Swag, Polo, Dapper, Whitmer, a pretty solid North American team who did struggle throughout Mountain Dew League, but they beat Team GX in a best of three that went to map three. They also beat Splice Gaming, 2 0 them, and actually were kind of brutally beat by Cloud9 in the finals, but still unemployed for Christmas, bringing home a couple thousand dollars in their pockets. So congrats to XCLG. They're still playing strong together and hopefully this is a motivation for them in the future for at least North American events to actually remain together as a team before they're signed by some organization, hopefully in the future. So congrats to them. And also, by the way, guys, CSGO Empire is still doing their 26 day Christmas giveaway. It's absolutely free to enter. Every single day is free prizes. On the last day though, they're giving away $50,000 in prizes. Overall, $150,000 giving away for free. So if you guys want to check it out, that's linked down below for all of you. And that huge thanks to them as well for sponsoring this episode. And if you guys want to check it out, it's free to enter. So feel free to win some prizes with no requirements. And briefly before I head out, guys, I wanted to thank my Patreons of the show. I know I don't really promote my Patreon too much, but I do want to quickly thank God Doctor, Paflo, and as well as Chris Scott for being my daily patrons of the CSGO News Show. I really do appreciate that support, as well as to all of you guys who comment down below. Thank you very much. It does seem in my last video, a couple of videos ago, I talked about the new Team Villa Mix. If you guys recognize that last CSGO News episode only got seven or 8,000 views, it didn't actually hit the hitbox or the sub box for many people out there, and it wasn't promoted via YouTube because I talked about loot crates being banned in Belgium, and it's kind of unfortunate. Not only was that video demonetized for no reason, but it was also not promoted across YouTube. So it was kind of just sucky to see that, but thank you guys who always leave comments down below. I do have all day today to reply to comments. I'm doing nothing but being sick and staying at home, so please leave a comment down below. As always, hope you guys all enjoy. My name is Jake Member. I like you. I will see you all tomorrow with some more My Thoughts Don't Matter, and in a couple days, some more CSGO news, and uh, yeah. All right. Well, goodbye.